Yes! Isn't he desperate for attention? Yes. Has he been on the internet all this time? Of course he has. Talking to those ladies behind the scenes, like Kaka or whomever. But her particular brand of Scottish racism doesn't actually sustain his narcissistic edge, does it? He's not interested in listening to her talk about her Scottish racism. And obviously, are they going to stick by him through this drought in content? Who would and why? Anyway, he's got to make sure he, he corrals them with bollocks while he's away, hasn't he? About how important it is that they stay with him and the money and he's fighting the fight and he's going to sue me. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he's got to do. And he needs a bit of narcissistic attention. That's pinned. Huge. Oh my God. <laughs> Curious Cat's hit the fame train. Like, listen, I know, I know that Curious Cat is going to love this as well because I'll, I'll admit it honestly, when Alan started saying the Chuffer Man or whatever, I got a kick out of that. I was like laughing my little, you, you saw me on stream laughing about it. Oh my God, he's talking about me, the idiot. No, the Chuffer Man called me, he wouldn't call me the right name. Curious Cat's got the full shout out. They got the foot. He did this with me a couple of times, didn't he? Where he took like a screenshot of a video of mine or whatever. And I like, was like, this man is bad. <laughs> oh. The cut for YouTube's coming. Just Do you think he's going to come back on YouTube? Wait, he can't come back on YouTube. What do you mean? He's banned. He's got to do it for, for Rumble. He's got to come back on Rumble. Do you think, when will he come back and what will he come back on? Because he's driven it all into the ground and it all looks stupid. Like, why would he even like at this point I think he sold his soul for 50 grand for, to fight the court case I think he sold it to his daughter and promised her there's no more internet but like who knows armchair detective the outcome of today's hearing yeah we all watch that well up big ups curious cat like you know oh wait I thought that was the way <laughs> When I scrolled down, I thought this was, you know, in, on a YouTube video, it has the description, link in the description below. You know that, yeah? In the description. I thought this was the description. Important. Does anyone know this woman? <laughs> <laughs> That's not my normal laugh. But like, it's my cringe laugh. It's my cringe laugh. Has anyone seen this cat? Wait, I've got to do it now. I've got to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got to do it myself. You think what he should have done? <laughs> screenshots. It would take me just a second. You won't see me doing it, but you know, enjoy yourself. There's the screenshot. Right. I'm just going to open it up in PC Paint. Open with Paint. Actually, you might get to see it. Yeah, you get to see it. Look, there's Paint. Paint's open on my desktop already. So oh, I can't make it bigger. Hang on. Right. Paint's great. Um, I don't use Photoshop. I currently use Paint because I'm just too poor to pay for a photoshop alternative i have photoshop on my old mac but it's hacked <laughs> so like, i hacked it years ago and i don't have it on my uh, current setup like when i say old mac i meant my old old not my editing mac the one before it and when i say hacked i meant like you know fuck it i didn't pay for photoshop back in the day you didn't pay for anything you got it all on LimeWire. <laughs> right this has got to say wanted <laughs> Have you seen this cat? Hasn't it? That's what this has got to say. Do we want a different font, like a more sort of traditional? I'm going to give it a background fill as well, just white, because like, just make life easier for you to be able to read it off the colourful page. This is not print production 101. This is just for fun. Wanted. That's what it's got to say. Yeah, wanted. Uh, and it needs to have spelling mistakes because it's coming from Alan. <laughs> no background fill on this, I'm sorry. No background fill. I'd like to have um, some other aspect of this to make it stand out a little bit more against that snazzy background, but I can't, so no background fill on this one. But um, have you seen this cat? <laughs> smaller font. Maybe we do go for the background fill, but just smaller font to fit it on. I'm giving you the, this print production class now. In print production, do not use multiple fonts. It makes you look stupid. <laughs> use the one font consistently on your work. If you've got a slightly different font for your logo or something, that's okay, but use the same font. You can see here, look, you can't read the words because of the, the background. 
don't use underlining underlining makes all the words come together in one big conglomerate block don't use that um, but what you would normally use is not drop shadows but outlining or in this case it's going to have to be more background fill because i don't have any option for background fill like you need people to read the words first and foremost so you just have to accept it <laughs> the most important thing about print production is people need to be able to read the words and understand the information that's the most important thing and everything else is secondary to that because it might look really snazzy but if you can't read the words and understand what it says it doesn't matter so that snazzy background was lovely but for this i had to you see what i'm saying so just a little bit of print production night no, and never go over with the fonts like it's an absolute mistake to overdo the fonts every time um so have you seen this cat right and then at the bottom we need reward <laughs> i should i haven't put any spelling mistakes in reward call alan I should I put his actual phone number on it because I know it. <laughs> Call Alan. <laughs> should I put the first few numbers of his phone number and then cross, 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 cross? <laughs> Is that his email? Or have you done a spelling mistake on it as well? I'll put that. I'll put that. That's a good one. Contact Alan. We'll have to change it to Contact Alan. <laughs> it's got a spelling mistake in it, which is perfect. Contact Alan. Wait, 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 wait. Contact Alan, right? Contact Alan. <laughs> this, this, this is perfect, Alan, to finish this. <laughs> She may be dangerous. I want caution gang stalkers as well. Uh, too many spelling mistakes look too bad, but... Uh, maybe Alan would use lots of fonts. That's the thing. Uh, bring that font down a bit. Can we fit it all on the one line? Thank you. She may be dangerous. Caution, gang stalkers. And actually, since we're on white, I can actually, like, this colour palette, I can bring some of that colour palette into it. It's going to make it harder to read red on, you know, the black is the, well, it's not harder to read, is it? But you can bring that colour palette into it now, and I, I can start thinking about that. Not on every piece of font, because I didn't at the time, but now I can for this specific one bit. So there you go, caution, gang stalkers. Oh, no, it doesn't fit on the bottom. Well, that's an issue. Can I, um... Can I pull this down and will it be there? No. All right, I have to write caution gang stalkers one more time. At least it looks bad like Alan is. Corton. I like Corton. I would I'd tell you what I'd really finish it as well nicely is to have the um the warning sign after caution, like and have a special gang stalkers warning sign. But that's fine now. That's fine. Right, save that. Save that. Let's get that on the internet so it exists on the internet. Please. <laughs> we haven't even read the post yet. I just... <laughs> Have I got Curious Cat? Like, this is my Twitter all over. I'm pretty sure Curious Cat might follow me on Twitter, but I at Curious Cat and I can't find them. And like, I don't know what everyone's at things are and I never can find people. So I'm just going to put Curious... Or maybe I shouldn't because it's, you know... Curious cat. Curious cat is in trouble now. Post. I'm reading it. I'm going to read it. Hey, look what you've done on the text. Look, you've done all. How could you do the old English font? And someone's highlighted something. Inquisitive cat, long hair, grey tabby. <laughs> Why did you highlight that? Read out the Patreon post before sending that wanted poster out. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Wait, wait, wait. Well, we can delete it in a minute. Okay, important. Does anyone know this woman? 
Guys, some people think this is a game and can mess around with the highest court in the land. Why do you think I'm not going live? This is real life. This woman is hiding as a curious cat on YouTube and was at the remote hearing and put a slant on the meeting that could put me in a bad place before the next meeting. In fact, as it stands, I won't be able to go due to the stress. Oh, for God's sake, Alan. May the 17th. Is it, was it May the 17th? I've got another one coming up as well. Um, maybe this will make it onto, maybe this will make it onto battery sources. So I just hold my horses talking about things. But um, for Christ's sake, is he not even going to attend court? What a fucking pussy. She put a bad slant on it. She read out what he said. This person and the other one that made it even worse with threats to turn up and approach me at the next hearing, this is contempt of court, not funny. No, no, it's not contempt of court. No, it's not. No, it's not. I haven't made threats. He's, he can't be talking about me because I haven't made threats like, to do that. I've said that I have documentaries on Netflix, well, one documentary on Netflix. I am a media producer that runs a media production company. That's my, if you go on, like you don't have company's house for me, sold a trader, but the, the government know because I do my taxes. If you go on the government website and find out what my business, like, you know, the name of, what do you call it? Like reason for business or whatever. It says media producer. And this man is on the internet as a public internet man. And he's going through a defamation trial with one of the biggest high profile um, victims of a crime over the last 10 years, Frankie Rusick. Like the Watts case is hugely high profile. There is every reason for journalists, be it citizen journalists like myself, with production backing, with like a budget, with like documentaries that I've made, like I'm okay to turn up at a court and ask people for comment after court cases in public. That's my legal right. <laughs> like, there's no way you're gonna have us down as gang stalking you, you fucking nutter. Like, I probably won't do it, obviously, because he will call the police and have all this problem. But there is that desperate call in me to, to want to do it, you know? Maybe someone else will. Like, it's not our fault. He's done it himself on the internet. Like, welcome to the world of being sued for defamation in public courts. Um, that's why they have a public gallery. Like, we were able to apply for the details of the the um, hearing and we were, we were able to watch it, weren't we? He made a video in his Patreon the night of the hearing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I noticed that even more because the font as well. You stood right out with that font then. That's insane. Um... Sorry, I'm just a bit baffled here. Baffled? That fucking Peter Folding's got into my lexicon now. Everyone says baffled now. It's the new cool word, isn't it? Everyone says baffled. Baffled's everyone's favourite word. Oh, baffle me this, baffle me that. Who's a fucking sonar-dragging twat? <laughs> uh, relaxing game music. See, I need relaxing music. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's better. Relaxing music. Okay. <laughs> Wait, have I still got the filter on? Am I still bumping it? Yup. That compressor, I need a button for the compressor. I could fix that, I could make one. I could do that. Right, relaxing game music. Can we have the most relaxing of game music though, please? Can we? No, alright then. Just... That's not very relaxing. It's all jazzy. I'm going for a different one. You've annoyed me now. This relaxing music is not my... Why am I finding it all unrelaxing? Okay, there we go. There's one. Right. Uh, <laughs> in capitals, in fact, as it stands, I won't be able to go to, due to... Smaller letters, the stress. Capitals, this person and the other one that made it even worse with threats to turn up. Small letters and approach me at... Big letters, the next... Grumpy Granis is going to have a field day with this. At the next hearing. This is contempt of court, not funny. They're hardly impartial. They have mul... They have multi vids. I think many, multi, multiple vids bashing the hell out of me. Yeah, you don't have to be impartial to be in the public gallery. 
Like, <laughs> There's no rule on impartiality in journalism, is there? I need her name and whereabouts ASAP for the master judge and my lawyer. Please don't write it here. AD sub say, like, you're not going to dox these people. He wants, like, dig into people's personal lives. Sorry, Alan, it's the internet. People make comment. You don't need the name for the judge. If the judge needs the name, they will get the name. They won't ask you to get it. Like, she had to apply to get in the fucking room. They know her, like, they've got her details. Like, you can just suck a dick. <laughs> Thank you for the name of the man already. Well, she can't, he can't mean me then, because I wasn't actually there watching. Yeah, so he can't mean me. And the threats to make it worse and turn up. He can't, like, the name of the man, does he mean me? He knows my name. It's public on my videos. <laughs> like, you don't have to do a big web search. I had a public-facing business, <laughs> like... I, I, I was a, like we've talked about it over tonight. I was a hairdresser, and also um, in my work as informal films, I sign off all my emails and to all my contact. You know, my actual name. I'm not scared of who I am. And like my first video is as an ASMR artist. I put my name. Like if you want to know who I am, Alan, I'll tell you who I am. We can meet in court any time. We can, like the public space is the public space. I'm free to wander within it. I've never hassled you or harassed you. Like the the police know it. They think you're harassing me. The police know that you are harassing me. They've asked if I want to go forward and press criminal charges for harassment and malicious communications so you can get fucked. <laughs> There's no way you're ever going to try and make it look like I'm harassing you. The police, from my end, had to flag you as a problem person so if your police ever get a report from you, if you go to Avon and Somerset, what are you? Wait, are you Avon and Somerset? If you go to your police, Alan, right, wherever the Exmouth police are, right? If you go to your police and say, oh, Scott's gang stalking me, then what will happen is they'll go on their computer and it will say, red flag, this Mr. Alan Vinicom keeps reporting this Scott Jessup and we've already dealt with it. Scott's fine. Alan's a twat. And they'll say, sorry, Mr. Vinicom, you're being a twat again. Would you like to waste any more of our time? Should we arrest you now? Like, you're an idiot. And if you think you can kick off outside the court, if I turn up and you were there and I said, excuse me, Mr. Vinicom, have you got a message for our viewers about the court case? And you think you're going to kick off about that? You're a nutter, right? And then on top of it, you think you're going to go at Curious Cat? You're a nutter, right? And you're not even going to turn up now. Pussy hole. You're not even going to turn up. Don't you have to? Isn't that contempt of court? <laughs> Isn't it contempt of court if you don't turn up? Isn't that contempt of court? Are you going to be able to put in the right information about having to not turn up because of your anxiety? Will they accept it? Are you on anxiety medication? Have you got a, an actual diagnosis of anxiety? Like, you could probably go and get one now, can't you? Because you probably fight... Like, do you know what's also happening with Alan? Is he's got, he does have anxiety issues. He's under, undiagnosed, pro possibly. He causes it by drinking drugs and um, tramadol and things like that. That makes it worse. And also his behaviour, because he's got a guilt complex over the things that he's done. <laughs> so he's got that on top as well, right? With all that in, in um, with all that thought out, Alan was telling us he was waking up in the night. So, sorry, I dropped my lighter. Alan was telling us he was waking up in the night and he was having like, he essentially he was having panic attacks. He didn't know what it was. He thought he was having like, you know, other issues. He's having panic attacks, right? And it's getting closer to D-Day, isn't it, in the court case? It's getting closer to the actual date. Like we've had the, the hearing. He, he thought in the hearing he might get it thrown out. He hasn't. Now he's had to put up a proper defence. Now he's got to go to town, go to court. Like, has he spent the money? I don't know. But it's getting closer to D-Day and he is panic upper level anxiety upper level and this is a response to that it's narcissistic panic that's what this is throwing it out at everyone else it's awful he just looks like he's scared to death scared to look they shook there ain't no such things as halfway crooks scared to death and scared to look they shook that's alan he's shook he's so shook oh my god Oh my god. It's insane. That's, the judge may well be watching our content after having investigated Alan Vinicom to the point, maybe, of search of Google and thought, this is funny. Like, the judge has probably got a full like grounding of what's going on in his case because he's a judge. So he probably knows who Frankie Rusick is, one of the most high-profile victims of a murder. Like, you know, not the direct victim, but the 
you know what I mean? Like the family of a murder victim, like the Watts case, like all the legal people will have heard of that, won't they? What do you think legal people think of people like Alan on the internet? What do you think real judges think of people like fake detectives on the internet? Hey, they probably think he's a dickhead, the worst kind of dickhead, and they can't wait. And they probably, like the police that dealt with me, they had to watch my channel. Alan sent them links. So they did, and they thought it was funny. And like they couldn't tell me they thought it was funny legally and all that business, you know what I mean? But like, I wouldn't be surprised if they keep up with like, what's going on on my channel now, because it's funny. And they think that us having a rip at people who cause problems for them, because he's got, what's he done for the police? What's Alan done for the police? In the Nicola Bully stuff, I've refused to throw the police under the bus. I still think the police are good. Not every police person in every police force is good. And at Lancashire Police, lots of difficulties, underfunding, Snowden, the Crime and Commission, you know, all these things. But the police people that go and serve every day and have a vocational spirit are good and they do exist. So I'm not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Whereas Alan said, they're all covering it up and it's conspiracy and they're all bad. And like, you know, if he goes in with the police ever, they hate him. He speaks out against them every opportunity he gets on his true crime content, doesn't he? The police don't know what they're doing. The police can't solve the case. The police have got it wrong. Like, big ups. Dropbox, what are you shouting about me now, Dropbox? Big ups. Why are you shouting Dropbox at me in chat? Why are you shouting at Is that some other kind of business that we need to get to after I've just reviewed this? Because I'm going to cut this with battery exhausted. I don't have Dropbox myself open now. So, um... <laughs> oh no he sent drop boxes he sent drop boxes to the judge sorry i know what you're saying now he sent drop boxes to the judge so that means that he sent loads of links to my stream to the judge all right you were joking right yeah but i see what you're saying now yeah and like the judge would have opened, well he wouldn't have looked at everything in the drop box i don't think he would the judge have opened it maybe not it could be hacking you know it could be something bad maybe they don't open them um but maybe someone in the office had a look and said you should see this you should see look what he sent us you know, maybe that's gone around the office. He will be a laughing stock in the legal profession. The people that are involved in it will be laughing at him. They can't wait to laugh at him in court. They can't wait for him to spend another 50 grand on a lawyer straight down the pan. He's going to be guilty harder than you can... He's going to be so hard guilty. I hope I don't jinx it by saying this, but, like, come on. Come on. Right. So, contempt of court is not funny. They are hardly impartial. They have multivids bashing the hell out of me. I need her name and her whereabouts. Please email me. I know the name of the man already. From the Attorney General's office, he says this next thing. So, you know, he likes to copy and paste. Yeah. Do we have an Attorney General in the UK? Do we have that? I don't think we have that. Attorney General for England and Wales. Oh, we do. Victoria Prentice. It's a British lawyer who served as the Attorney General for England. They do have one. I thought it was just an Americanism. Fair enough. You know what Alan's like, though. Social media contempt of court refers to behaviour that undermines or prejudices court proceedings and interferes with the administration of justice or creates a real risk of that happening. Well, there's no risk of that happening. How is there a, How are we undermining the court proceedings? Like, he's operating on social media. That's the case. It's defamation against Alan Vinicum, YouTube person. Like, there's no way they're going to think it's contempt of court for YouTubers to talk about a court case. Like, how am I... Could you imagine, right? Could you imagine... Or do you think turning up in the, the live stream is contempt of court? They didn't say anything. They just sat there. They've got a recording of it at the court. If they'd have kicked off, if they'd have started opening up their mics and talking and saying, Alan's guilty and all whatever... That's not happening. Yeah, that's not happening. Um, there's no way you're going to tell people on the internet that they can't talk about things that are happening in the world that have happened in the world of social media while it's happening on the internet. People are just going to do it. You can't, like, you're not going to tell me that it's a crime. You're not going to come and arrest me. There's no way, like, Alan, this is Mr. This is Mr. Vinicum, freedom of speech Vinicum. Yeah, freedom of speech Vinicum. This is Mr. Freedom of speech Vinicum. No one photographed all videos. Yeah, no one's done any of that. No one will be stupid enough to publish it like on, on the internet. We've all literally said that you can't do it. We're not in contempt of court. No. Um, I'll read it though for you. Uh, it refers to behaviour that undermines the prejudice of the court. The same rules apply to members of the public as they do to journalists when posting on social media. Posting about a case or trial could amount to contempt if the comments 
will be heard. The comment, if it comments on facts or evidence that will be heard during the trial, well, we don't know the evidence that's going to be heard during the trial. If it mentions mentions the defendant's character, <laughs> shares any information about a case, the judge has been ordered to be kept private. Well, definitely not that. Records and or shares images, video content of sound clips from the trial. We're not doing that. They're in breach of an embargo. We're not, this is silly. It's just like obvious for like for obvious things, isn't it? Like this is what oh this is I'll tell you what this is. I'll tell you what this is. This is what Alan can't do. Isn't it? He can't come on and have a rant about the trial while he's involved in it. These are his rules that he's got to adhere to. That's why he's not on social media, because he can't help it. If he opened up a stream, he wouldn't be able to help it. He's got to be quiet. He can't say anything. But what's he been saying behind the scenes leading up to it? You know, what did he say about Frankie Rusick on the way up? He kept saying that man or someone from America because he didn't want to name him. We all knew who he was talking about. It doesn't matter if you used a code name. We knew who you were talking about and so did the courts. You didn't want to say anything because you know about these rules that you can't say anything. I'm a, I'm a standard um, public person and I'm going to talk about stuff on the internet and the bollocks am I going to be shoved off by a judge and told no free speech over this. Like, this is not for people like us. It's not that. Uh, examples. Hang on, I'm pausing the music. Examples. She's definitely guilty. She's done it before and did it two years in jail. Hope she gets a massive jail sentence. Hashtag throw away the key. He's back in court next week. We've all seen him drill, drug, deal drugs to kids down the pub. He needs to go down. Definitely guilty. Hashtag no doubt. When are the police going to charge Robert? He's hit her before and went into anger management. Obviously didn't work. Hashtag charge him. Dora has been arrested before for a different crime. No chance she's innocent this time then. Hashtag send her down. Sounds like what they do. Like, I mean, there's not a court case going on about like certain crimes at the moment. They're just unsolved. But it sounds like what people do on social media about like true crime, isn't it? Doesn't that sound like every fucking comment you've ever seen on social media about Nicole Kessinger or like, you know, who's that one that's like there's a disappeared kid at the moment? Like one of the disappeared kids of the day, you know, isn't that what they say about their their family and friends? Like, isn't it all like what constantly goes on? Isn't there a court case going on right now on court TV that's being broadcast around the world from court TV and then rebroadcast by other people and everyone's saying what they want? Like, <laughs> what are we fucking talking about? Like, these are the rules for Alan. Like, examples here would be if you're in a court case and you tweet that shit, <laughs> you're in trouble. But if you're watching the telly and you tweet that shit, the police are not going to come around and write you off the internet for saying a contempt of court. How many people do you ever hear about that are in contempt of court because there's something they said on social media? How many people do you ever hear about that? Like, it's just psychotic from Alan at this point. It's trying to scare people. Think before you post, could your message stop someone having their day in court? Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Juries must decide on the basis of evidence, not your posts. This is like, I think what this is, if this is from the uh, press office of the Attorney General, it's advice to people on social media to try and make things easier for the courts. But it's not a fucking hard and fast rule that they're going to, like you'd have heard about it. Like, you're not allowed to post this on social media, it's criminal. We'd have rioting in the streets, surely. And if it does turn out to be that way, I'll start to campaign against that and, like, make a point of going to... Well, I won't because I don't want to ruin my life, but someone should make a point of going to courts and, like, saying things outside the courts like this because, like, you just fucking should be able to. It's just fine. If you're in the case, it should not be happening. You should not be part of doing that. But if you're an outside observer with no iron in the fire, then it's just totally up to you, isn't it? Like... Contempt of court can be punished by a fine or up to two years of prison. Help spread the word so a person's guilt is decided by a judge rather than social media. Think before you post, think before you post. So it's like getting on for defamation, isn't it? Your post could mean the trial is delayed or stopped because a fair trial isn't possible. Don't get in the way of justice being done. What is this nonsense? What is this nonsense? Why would this get in the way of a fair trial? Why would posts on social media cause the judge to be incapable of making up a decision based on the facts presented to them i don't understand that myself if that's real law that is in the, the law we need to change that and i don't think it's going to make a shit of difference for alan in his case i just don't give a, a damn i just think it doesn't make a shit of difference from his case he spelled examples wrong examples he spelt wrong i'm just going to copy and paste this stuff that is the examples that are not spelled wrong and find out where he's got it from Yeah, gov. Contempt of court and social media. 
The same rules apply to members of the public as they do journalists, especially when posting on social media. That's a bit vague, though. Posting about a case or upcoming case could amount to a contempt of court. Some examples of social media posts. This is exactly what he's copy and pasted, this document. Um, what is it, though? Where's it come from? Attorney General's office. Assets, media, PDF. Um... Learn more, reject. This is from way back. This is from, I say way back, 2021. A new campaign has been launched, warning of the legal consequences of prejudicing the judicial process via social media. Think before you post. Campaign profile advanced guidance could leave social medias at risk of being held in contempt of court. Contempt of court refers to behaviour which undermines or prejudices judicial processes. Uh... Or creates a real risk of that happening. I don't think there's a real risk of that happening. The same rules apply to members of the public that do to journalists. These rules are in place. They've they've copied and pasted it for their news for their news story. Michael Ellis at the time, the Attorney General, announced the campaign saying everyone's innocent or proven guilty. Blah 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 blah. Some examples of social media posts. So they've reported on it just by using the the fact sheet that was published. Um Contempt of court posting about court cases. Like, did you watch the Johnny Depp trial? The one in England you didn't watch, but you saw all the people posting about it on the internet, didn't you? Uh, you can also be in contempt if someone's the judges said that someone can't be named. I don't think this is for people like us, like watching on social media and talking. Like, I think it means about posting on social media, like facts about a trial. You know, like how would I name someone in, involved in a case that must not be named? What if I didn't know they must not be named? I don't know. I'm not involved in the trial and I post something on the internet about somebody. Like they're going to come around my house and tell me I'm wrong. No, I think this is if you're involved in the trial and you know from the judge's order and you stand up in court and they say, you've been contempt of court. I don't think I'm in court for a start. Like you're going to put me in court to, to charge me with contempt. Uh, I'm arguing this, like, but I also understand that what's strictly written here does sound a bit like you can't say anything about things in court because now you're in contempt of court. But I think it's before the judiciary to... Um, like The whole point of judges launches new law to combat contempt of court online 2021. Uh, we need to fight this. We need to change this law. Well, some of it anyway. Prejudicial information. Trying to prejudice the judicial process. How would you prejudice it? A misjudged tweet or post can have grave repercussions. That's so, that's, sorry, free speech, social media. I don't give a fuck. A post on social media could mean a trial is delayed. I don't think so. Or at worst stopped. I don't think so. That's that's like when the teacher says, well, someone could have died. You're so naughty. And you think, well, I don't think they could have. Like, you know, you're being you're taking it a bit far now just to try and make it sound really serious. But it's not. Um, and I think that it's all relative, isn't it? Like, they could choose to enact this if they so chose to. But I don't think they would. I think it's the at the discretion of the law of the court. And I don't think they would care. We all have the right to discuss and comment on what we see and hear in the news, as long as we stay on the right side of the law. These laws are in place to ensure a trial can take place unimpeded and not be postponed or aborted. Aborted trials not only affect the defendant, but also the victims and witnesses. Is this criminal they're talking about, though? Are they talking about criminal? Because isn't the Attorney General... Wait, wait, wait. Isn't the Attorney General... Are they talking about civil cases? Isn't the Attorney General responsible for prosecuting criminals on behalf of the government? There's no specific about which court. We've already looked at the fact sheet. What's about this? Case studies. Okay, case studies. This is what they're into. This is they're trying to give us examples now of why they're doing it.
It wasn't even the court case. It was a pre-hearing. Good shout. Good shout. Like they're not. Listen, if they've got a problem with this, they're not going to give everyone the link, are they? Like so, everyone can watch it and talk about it on social media. Like I told them when I asked for the link that I'm a media producer, so they wouldn't give me the link if I was like you know in contempt of court by talking about it. I assume. In July 2015, two teenage girls were put on trial for murder. Due to the age of the defendants, they were granted anonymity and referred to by their initials. After only two days, the judge suspended the trial after hundreds of posts purporting to reveal the identities of the two girls appeared on social media. Aborting the trial cost tens of thousands of pounds and led to justice being delayed. Both sub defendants subsequently jailed for 15 years, followed a reconstituted trial, I think before you post. So what they're saying was, the judge didn't want these people to be identified because it would affect because they're underage yeah and it, they got publicly identified so the jury the whole trial problematic they abandoned it this is not the same is it as what Alan's trying to throw it at um, this is information and photographs about John Venables were published and as we all know John Venables murdered uh, um, poor um, James Bolger and his identity is now like you know not for public knowledge so they've given him that anonymity haven't they now so you're not allowed to do that and like if you find out who he is and you post it on court and say this is John Venables I found out then you're in contempt of court because there's a court order saying you can't so um, in January 2018 the court issued another order imposing restrictions on the naming of identifying witnesses despite the court order now again it's a court order identifying witnesses um in 2019 despite signs warning against recording the proceedings someone proceeded to stream a crown court trial to facebook the footage was downloaded hundreds of times uh so streaming it to facebook so we're not in contempt of court by talking about it like none of those examples are like people talking about it are they they put some social media tweets to scare the public i actually think this is disgusting i think alan has got a point here i think you could open up a case for saying that people who talk about your court case online might be in contempt of court the court would have to decide and i assume they would decide that we're not but like because no one's attempting to prejudice a judicial process um but it's a horrible thing that you shouldn't be able to talk about it online. I like, understand that if a court has made an order, that's enforceable, but that's always been enforceable. You didn't need a new law. It seems like this cunt, Attorney General Michael Ellis QCMP, it seems like this cunt has decided to put in a law to remove some of our freedoms, freedoms of speech regarding legal aspects. And I wonder, you know, if he was ever in court, would he be happier that no one could talk about it? You know, like there are some things that maybe we should be talking about that go in court, shouldn't there? And I don't think we should be worrying about the aspects of, of prejudicing it in contempt more than the truth and the freedom. In fact, like you'd have to give me some better examples than the ones you gave even because uh, those were court orders. And so without your law, the court would still be ordering them. They would still be contempt of court. You didn't need a new law to enact it. Uh, people's freedom of speech about what they think is going on in the courts should be free. Bizarre. Okay, so that's Alan's thing. And he's copied and pasted it off that internet page. So it's I don't know where he's got that from. Um, I think he's a bit of a weird one, though, because if the judge is concerned with it, then the judge can find out her name. Like if He can find out my name. He can find out everyone's name. He's a fucking judge, yeah? So Alan doesn't have to, oh, please give me the name. Doesn't really matter, does it? Like, has Alan got a legal team that can pay to do this stuff? They've got to petition the judge about it. They'd have to put... It's the, one of these legal languages again, wouldn't it? Wouldn't they, Alan's side have to petition the judge about it? Or would the judge have to find this out themselves and do it? Now, I don't know who makes the, the process of like deciding what tweets are going to be put before the judge and decided if they're going to be contempt. Like, how do they even... like? How does people in court even... Um, like, you, You've got to read all the tweets. <laughs> like, I don't mean just the ones about your court case. I mean all of them because you need to check... Like, how do they even get these things before the court? It's all a bit weird. Um, I think it's contrivance. I think these people who have contrived it need to go in the bin. I think it needs to be taken out of our law or, you know, looked at much more carefully. And uh, if I were in true crime world, I'd be really worried about it because it would absolutely affect all of the things you talk about on your cases, like while you're covering um, court cases. Maybe American court cases are different. Uh, British court cases we don't get to see inside the court so you can't cover them because you don't have a telly you know you don't have a YouTube channel called Court TV broadcasting them that you can just restream um, but like 
in the UK we have court cases. I mean, what happened with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and um, in the UK? Johnny Depp UK trial. No, that was that was going on, wasn't it? So if I tweet that search paste, just search that, you know. I suppose these are recent posts, so the, fin the court case is finished, but no, it wasn't Twitter absolutely full of posts about the fucking court case. No, it wasn't it absolutely full of posts about the court case. Did anyone get done for contempt of court? Did anyone hear about anyone getting done for contempt of court? They were talking about beating his wife and all sorts. No, yeah, I'm going to say don't worry about that. I'm going to say just don't worry about it. It's a fucking furious post from Alan to try and scare the people who are covering his court case into not covering it. He's he's very angry about Curious Cat. They did a very good job. That's why. The others kept it to themselves and secret it off. Like Lots of people watched it, but the ones that talked about it in public like did a good job of keeping people up to date with what happened in a hearing leading up to his court case that was public knowledge, publicly available, and it wasn't there to prejudice anything. It was there to simply report on it. And of course, we don't like Alan. Alan's a bad person. Like, it's not, we're not, nobody's trying to prejudice a judge. No one's saying like, oh, judge, please watch this, or like, you have to find him guilty. Like, I hope he's found guilty myself. Absolutely. I'm not trying to prejudice a judge. Why would the judge listen to me? It's just, yeah, AD's threatening bollocks. She stayed within the guidelines of what the court said she could and couldn't do when watching the hearing. There you go, then. He's just throwing these bollocks around to try and scare people. I wouldn't be scared. I'm not scared. And I don't think the court would like, even if the court wanted to find me for contempt of court, yeah, in this case, imagine this. They watch what I've said today and say, right, that's contempt of court, get him down here. I go to the court and I say, sorry, Your Honour, what is it? And they say, you said this on the internet. And I say, what is it, two years in prison now? And they say, no, don't be silly. You're a good boy, you've never done anything wrong. I'm absolutely ridiculous to send you to prison for two years for this. I'll just give you a £20 fine. And I'll say, thanks very much, Your Honour. Or at least my lawyer will. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and then if it was worse than that and I did get prison time, then my lawyer would go mental and I'd get out of prison on appeal. Like, I just, there's no way. There's no way. Imagine going to prison for two years for saying AD's a prick. <laughs> oh, that'll come back and bite me. I'll have to tell everyone in prison what I'm in for and I'll say, oh, I told to call this man a prick on the internet. Like, come on. I'm not under a court order. Yeah, nobody's under a court order. Like, all those examples were of like, really serious things of people under court orders, like with really serious crimes. Like, this is a civil case as well. It's not a criminal case. So I don't even trust that it applies, really. But, um, and as I said, I think it's disgusting anyway. It's really highlighted to me that this needs changing. I can't believe this exists. And so many people that have social media accounts that do so true crime. I'm like, when in gaming, something changes and there's like a law put in, the gaming company, like, you know, I don't know, like microtransactions or something, we're allowed to do this or that. Like, all the people in the gaming world are like talking about it, boycott it, let's make a change, like let's get behind the campaign or whatever. Like that's for computer games. This is for everyone's fucking justice. <laughs> and the people that did true crime, because I wasn't doing true crime back then, I don't do it now, it's 2021 that was. All the people that are involved in true crime that let that go under their nose, they're all fucking disgraceful as well, because that should have been on every YouTube channel under the sun. Should have made a massive stink about that and that law should never have gone through. You can't talk about court cases on social media in case you prejudice the jury or whatever in case you prejudice you can't talk about it on social media in case you prejudice it's court it's a uh, contempt of court yeah get off absolutely get off if you want to police social media like that then what has to happen is that youtube and facebook and whoever have to have their law or their rule as terms of service saying that you're not allowed to do X, Y, Z, and then we get kicked off by them. You can't come around my house and tell me not what to say about this and that and could turn it into a crime. Like, you can fuck off. Like, there's no way. I'm not having it. I understand there are rules about journalism while court cases are going on. Absolutely. You know, they should be under the journalist watchdogs, you know, you take them to court and all that. 
common people saying things. <laughs> Fuck no. Like, could you imagine Brenda at the market was buying her oranges and she said that OJ Simpson was definitely guilty and then the police pounced. <laughs> like, get rid, get rid. You can't have laws like that. They've got to go in the bin. Like, disgusting. So I'm interested that that's highlighted that to me. Alan's still an idiot. <laughs> In fact, he looks like more of an idiot than ever. Six likes, three comments. Um, obviously, some of these comments are usually by a fake person that is Alan trying to, like, you know, make it look good. Um, I hope you can find out who this woman is, AD. You've got this, AD. We're all behind you all the way. Yeah, idiot. Um, and Ephraim Shimoni says, I'll do their best to find out. If you're a um, detractor and you're paying Alan... Like, if you're a new detractor and you're paying to get his patron, then that's a bad... Like, no, again, like, um, I was talking about ops earlier on the stream about how proper detractors don't do ops. Uh, the ones that make content, I mean, like, obviously there are proper detractors out there that do do ops, but the ones that make content, it's a it's considered a no-no. You know, it's considered a no-no. And uh, the the same thing with paying the pay pig... The um, pay pig. <laughs> the, uh, the pay pigs are the ones that pay the, the lol cow. Same with paying the lol cow. Like, I'm not going to pay Alan at any point any money unless he comes on my stream and does work for me. Um, like, I'm not paying to get a hold of his patron. So I'm grateful to those that do. But if you're a new person, don't pay him any money. Don't pay him any money. Don't pay him any money. Look, the really important things that he really wants everyone to hear, he doesn't put it behind the paywall. He's using it as a social media posting site because he can't use Facebook and other places. We don't even look at his Facebook. Can't be asked. So he posts it here so that we see. He's posted that so that Curious Cat can see it. He's not posted it for anyone else. It's there as a threat to Curious Cat. It's pathetic. And it means he's watching it and he's well eggy and he can't go on the internet and make videos about it. So <laughs> the judge has told you you can't talk about it on the internet. And he's also revealed that he's having panic attacks and anxiety orders. And as it stands, he won't be able to go. Oh, he'll be going. He'll be going. As it stands, he won't be able to go. He, as it stands, he's having panic attacks and, and issues. Yeah? But he'll be going. Because he'll be in contempt of court. If he don't show up, he'll be in contempt of court. So, if that one's for battery exhausted, you'd be good. And if you can't be good, you're notice. Big ups, Curious Cat. Let's see this one more time before I... Um... <laughs> Sign this off for battery exhausted. Let's see what I posted again. Because you said don't post that before you've read it. Well, well, you know, we all do things. <laughs> if the judge wants to watch what I've said and consider whether I'm in contempt of court or not, I will argue very strongly that I'm not seeking to prejudice any sort of legal proceeding and that I'm simply commenting on something that is of interest, being as it's high profile Frankie Rusick's defamation case against a man that's on the YouTube and I'm on the YouTube and all that. I, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Wanted, have you seen this cat? Caution gang stalkers. I can't see a world where they don't throw the fucking book at him. I can't see that. Like, I do understand that Frankie might not have the strongest of cases in terms of, like, I can fight defamation against Alan. Um... I thought he was going in there with no, you know, no solicitors, no defence and everything. And he, he basically did right to the end, didn't he? So he's a fucking idiot. Uh, so I just really can't see them. Like, all the trouble he's caused them over the years as well. You know, they're not going to do him any favours at all. We've already seen from the the, the original um, hearing, like, that they didn't do him any favours. They cut him off. They stepped in. They, You know, they're not going to. Like, could you imagine them doing him a favour now and trying to, you know, help out? It's not going to happen. There's no jury, no. There's no jury. Court already know who she is. Yeah, she's had to apply to the court to get the information to get. Like you have to apply. So like just like me, you have to apply. Yeah, they know who you are. And like if the court want to find you and hold you in contempt, Alan's not going to make a difference. Now like, imagine the defendant for defamation coming to court and saying, "I want you to find this person in defense in contempt of court." And the judge says, "Sit the fuck down." You don't tell me who to find in contempt of court. I'll find you in contempt of court unless you sit the fuck down. Like, <laughs> I think we should, in terms of trying to prejudice the thing, shouldn't somebody send this to the court? I mean, I don't want to highlight it to the court because I want him to do more of it leading up to the court case. It's his only outlet. 
But shouldn't someone send that to the court? <laughs> isn't Alan, like, isn't this harassment? Isn't he trying to get someone's personal details? Like, isn't he doing bad things? Why shouldn't I send that to the court? I think that needs to go to the court. Yeah. Oh, I opened up my mail account by mistake. Close that. I'm not sending him a sub. So AD subs, I'm not sending him a, an email, please. I don't want to. Close that. Oh, I should have sent him an email in the past. No, I, if I ever sent him an email, he'd say I'm harassing him, wouldn't he? Like, I, it's just stupid. But I should have sent him an email to say, good luck with the court case. Good luck with your court case, son. I should just send that, shouldn't I? Could you imagine? I, I could send him an actual physical hand-delivered bouquet of flowers on the day of the court case, maybe. Would that be harassment? Delivering someone a hand-delivered bouquet of flowers and the card will just say, good luck with your court case, son. Like... You can send people flowers, can't you? That's not... I need to call the police and ask them. Like, as a funny, ironic gift. Like, you know, good luck with your court case, son. It's like... Just put it in a lyric. We've got it. We've got it. Oh, we got lyrics. Well, you ain't got none. If you come to battle, bring a shotgun. Because if you do, I duel to the death. Trying to step to me, you take your last breath. Come get your fill. If you come to battle, bring... Like, you know what that's from. That's Jump Around. But this isn't Jump Around. This is Sentries. So on Sentries, um, this is our latest Alan song. It's our first of the Alan songs to be dropped with a little video. We're going to be dropping... You know, we're backed up with great songs at the moment. And we can't just drop them all in one go. We've got to do one every couple of days. Otherwise, you know, let people have a chance to, to watch and take it in. I don't want to drop 10 songs on one day. But I was considering doing an album and saying, okay, this is an album. So... Here's five or six songs all at the same time from the out, like mini albums, just all on one day. But really, it kind of like, you know, one or two of them will get the views and the others will get stomped on by them. You know what I mean? The algorithm is not going to suggest five of my videos to you at once, is it? So, um, but we've got a new video today for Dark Side Feels Italian Incident Legacy. Um, incident Legacy. So, uh, this is the new Alan song, or the first of the official Alan songs, and they're going to just keep coming and they're going to be great. And we've got some really good ones. This is a really good one. Um, actually, Childlike Empress. Do you know what? I put that, and once I'd finished, I thought, should I have put DC Primetime instead? So I can change the name of the title if you would prefer DC Time Primetime, but I can't change that because that's in the video. But. So I sang with kids on smule, not a good look, such a fool. Listen, as well, the the video works really well having all the stills. I thought I was being a bit lazy. I am being a bit lazy with the videos over there, of course. But uh, the stills really work because it's lazy. Just throw a load of pictures in. But it really worked because it's like old photographs and like stills. And the way I chose to just blow my own trumpet a little bit, it's a very simple device, but to fade some of them in, like with the music, it kind of it kind of works. It kind of has a little bit of impact. And as a viewer, I hope that you will watch and think, oh, funny pictures of Alan. Like, go on then. I wonder what's the next one coming up. Maybe I should have chosen a more bizarre and funny picture for my second picture. But I did try, well, I kind of tried to go for quite, you know, so you get the idea that you're going to see some funny pictures. So stick around. And the song's great as well. So I sing with kids on smule, not a good look. Such a fool. It's like an overview of what happened over the last year in a way, isn't it? It just kind of sums it up. It's like, we've gone on this journey. Thanks for the memories, Alan. Like, do you know what I mean? I changed the case. Why aren't they thanking me? Oh, I love to tell and where I pay for ladies making me. You choked us the me Can't tell and it haunts me Where have all the patrons gone? Good luck with your channel, son Funnily, a lot of, for the choruses I used all of um, our thumbnails from the... Obviously, you know, you saw them. And good luck with your channel, son. And the thumbnails from the channel? Lovely. You know, this is like a little screenshot. I'm in it. Look, I didn't put myself in this video a lot, but this is a lovely screenshot of him looking like an idiot. So I'll pop that in. And the last one as well, you'll see I'm in it as well. But uh, good luck with your channel, son. Well, there it is, is, isn't it? Look, these are all the thumbnails, all the, the wonderful fun and success and great thumbnails and fun. And the channel still exists, Alan. It's not been binned off YouTube. It's still there. 
So it's not getting binned off YouTube. It's going to stay there. And if you want the paedophile video, you know, the uh, Alan Vinicom's not a paedophile and all the evidence of you and the small kids. That's my current top headliner video, uh, like when you start on the channel. So that's bad for you. But um, the there is still an option. Like you paid a lawyer 50 grand here. Like why didn't you pay me 50 grand? I could have took down that video. Why didn't you ever offer me money? Like, you know, money gets things done, Alan. Why didn't you offer me 50 grand for that video? You know, people can buy the, uh, the the royalty rights for videos. Why don't you offer me 50 grand, Alan? Or have you not got it? <laughs> Big ups, you need to call him. I'm up for a sort of positive vibe video. Yeah, that sounded fun. Um, I would I would note that a lot of these videos that you will see coming up on Sentries are also community efforts. Like where people have specifically done the, all the lyrics, like when Seb did it and Childlike Empress or DC Primetime did it here. Um, I'll you know give them the the title; it's their words. But in the majority of them, they are a community effort as well. Like uh, the Tramadol song that we've got coming out by Alan is actually by everyone as well. Where have all, all the patrons gone? I left that on quite a long time, that picture. I quite like it. Um, the, uh, the aspect of the music that I really find interesting as well, it's opened it up with the AI. It's very easy to do, isn't it? It's very lazy. But I was making music about Lol Cows before. I'd done a couple of Dark Side Phil songs. Um, and I've made music in general before. And so getting music to be popular on the internet is difficult. Like... If you're a music artist, like you have to be either really good or have like you know a bit of something about you know what I mean. Not like not every music artist is going to get through, and I'm not really really good or, or whatever. So like I'm not going to make it big on the rap scene on the internet maybe. Um, but the uh, AI enables us to have this fun. And what I noticed about the dark side field detractor sphere is there's a lot of songs in their world, and I enjoy them. Meerkat and uh, Dark Sea to Flow, they like set this like standard for this like detractor music. And I was talking about it briefly when I was on that being said, which is that they it creates a more bigger world it creates more like co cohesion like creates this more world building around it and it tells stories and it like the detractor videos exist but when you have these music songs as well in the world and it's this other art form that's going on like um it really adds to the sort of um like it adds to the soup it adds to the thickness of the broth it adds to the the reality of all the detracting in way like and it's very fun as well isn't it it's not harsh horrible although some of it as we've seen from somebody's songs recently some of it can just be like uh, bitter pointed barbs but like what we try and do is to make like make it fun make it funny um but also point out the uh ineptitudes of the log house so um yeah like i think the music's a good thing sentries is just a fun channel it was just a scrapbook channel and now it's got some music going on it it's just fun like there's nothing other than that so um hopefully it's all just fun as long as it st stays being fun we'll keep doing songs yeah. and like i say we've got loads backed up so there will be more One of my finest moments on the internet. People don't, like, it goes under under the radar, right? I don't blow my own trumpet enough. It goes under the radar. Come on. Come on. I, I, all I did was got the other picture and put it next to him. But come on. <laughs> he never wore that jacket again, did he, after that? After I posted that on Twitter, he never wore that jacket again. <laughs> We all mentioned it in chat, like people said it. I didn't invent it. Someone said it in chat, you know, we picked up on it. It's a meme, the Star Wars jacket. But I don't think he understood. And then you put it together like that. I mean, what about, what a couple of pictures together that is in terms of internet meme image. Owned him. You need to call him. The Mimps uh, was because Alan did a song. I've got it. I'll play it in a second. Um, he did uh, 50 Cent's Pimp, but he said Mimp by mistake. So we took it on as a meme. Basically, Alan's content and my streams, I guess, is meme generation 101 sometimes. And I don't know. It seems that the funny things I say on my streams get picked up and made into memes. So 
There you go. Like I picked up on the meme. He said it. I picked up on it, shouted about it, laughed about it. We applied it as a meme. And when you're a low cow, memes happen. Like, you know, and when, when you're funny on the internet like me, then memes happen. You know, you need to be funny. I'm just I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a bit creative like that, but nice don't, don't, you know, if you, if you praise me too much, I might clam up. I'll just say, this is an editorial decision, is all these other video, they're not clipped, so they're not videos, but they're old photos, and I put the VHS effect on it, so it looks, like you can see, it looks a bit old in VHS, but then these ones I brought into, for twat, and these ones, I brought them into, like, full HD, you know, no fucking around with them, so they look much more clear and crisp, so it's like, this really is the reality, Alan, it's not just some, you know, fantasy world on a telly, because he understands, for this video as well, bringing that VHS aspect about the telly, he understands when he sees things on telly. So this is going to hurt him even harder. Childlike Empress, your song is you know, great. The lyrics are great. The AI came out great. And he gets to see it in the format that looks like it's on telly. He, that's how he understands, that's how he steals his in, information. That's how he assimilates people's um, cool phrases off the, the thing that he's heard, or, or any phrases, into his own lexicon. Everything comes, it, the telly is real to him, the fantasy world. So seeing it like this is going to make it a real, like, he's in the fantasy world, he's seeing it that way. And then to make it a, a more bright reality with that contrast from, like, that was an editorial decision, so I'm not going to let it pass that I'm not a genius. <laughs> I'm not a genius. But I did that. <laughs> Yeah, on Urban Dictionary, it might have a bad definition. So what? Like, you know, it's a meme within a community. So, like, we just shout about it. No one thinks that we're calling each other um, maternal sexual predators or whatever. <laughs> like, and we chuff rejects is the official term. So chuffers and chuff rejects. We might just shorten it to chuffers because, like, chuff rejects is too long and I call everyone a chuffer. But, uh like memes was just a meme isn't it so you can't control the meme like memes just happen like people say things and they become memes it's a joke that translates through society because everyone gets it and thinks it's funny so it just is like we don't i don't own it or anything i don't like have a um it's on the mug top mimp jess s mimp by jess r mimp it's on the mug i, I like it i think it's fun like it's just a meme it's all good in the hood Yep, Chuffer Man run him out of YouTube town, yep. Chuffer Man run him out of the saloon, out of the bar, got him out of the town, yep. And now he's skirting around the outskirts of town with his Rumble crew and like, yep, and his TikTok, we want that down as well, you know, outlaws. That's our first, sorry, that's our first uh, thumbnail. That's my first thumbnail for Alan. That's the first video I did about him. Armchair Dick, a grifter in review. Like my first proper stream about him where I was like, who's this guy? He started stealing my content in my videos and we've got a problem. Look at what he's doing in his content. And he was doing the, trying to sell the, the paintings and he was like grifting and like, you know, that was my first video about it. That's the first, that's where we started a year ago or over a year ago now. You know, we did a year's anniversary sum up, didn't we? I'm just an old man who likes ladies with nice hair YouTube doesn't want me Actually, that's Alan's bust face as well, isn't it? Angry Alan bust face for bust face day. I'm going to grab that and tweet that as well. I'm on, I'm on a roll here. Angry Alan Vinicum Armchair Detective. That's such a long name, isn't it? Um, armchair Detective. Bust face for bust day. Just put that. I should put DSP DSP gaming so it like you know algorithmically links to the people, but let's put that and then just tweet it. Get on with what you're doing. What are we doing? He looks like in that one he looks like a monkey, doesn't he? Good luck with your channel, son. 
Doesn't he look like a monkey in that one? Urban Dictionary is just written by people. Curious Cat showed up. Please fill her in. Oh, big ups. Please fill her in. Did she not see it herself? All right. Are you here in chat? Are you Curious Cat? Uh, so Alan did a community post on his patron. It looks a bit... I've, I've adapted it. I've adapted it. <laughs> I think... <laughs> Wanted. Have you seen this cat? Contact Alan. AD sub. Corton. Corton gang stalkers. Like, you're in trouble now. Curious Cat is in trouble. Um, Alan is throwing around the concept. Uh, to sum it up, he's saying that it's contempt of court to interfere with a court case by posting on social media about it. And he reckons that it's contempt of court. And if anyone has got your name, can they please email it to him so the master judge and his lawyer can deal with it? But it seems a bit of a strange... I think... Don't worry. I think it's threats and I don't think you're in trouble. Um, I don't think there is actually a real thing that the Attorney General launched a new law, launched a new campaign, sorry, a new campaign in 2021. I don't know about the law, um, but all the links are at the bottom there and I'll just copy and paste it into chat so you can see. It. Oh, you know all about it. Yeah, okay. Um, so I would assume that you, like me, also are not worried. Yeah, okay. Um, I think there is a real case for contempt of court when people are given court orders not to reveal people's um you know pictures in public or you know stuff like that contempt of court like that i don't think that's what this is about what alan's saying i don't think it matters um it's not contempt no well there you go he made a video who's made a video alan surely not please please be please be true Not in his rumble, he's not. It was a hearing, not court. He's not... No, same day as the hearing. Oh, yeah, he did a video. Yeah, yeah, we watched it and reacted to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made a video, yeah. He's not used any of his social media. He's not even paid for the views on it. <laughs> but he has used his social media because Patreon is social media, so a bit weird. Um... But yeah, so we're all good. We don't think that we're in trouble. Uh, we're not going to be in trouble. And he's just really... I think he's getting extra eggy and he's getting extra um, anxious. I think he's getting really anxious, like having panic attacks, like all that shouting about not turning up to court because of anxiety. Um, you know, really eggy and anxious. I don't know if like, you know, honestly, I talk about it, but honestly, I don't know if I would turn up at the court because he will do me for harassment and call the police. But I hope someone does turn up at court and get some video of him because that would be brilliant. I'd watch it on my channel. Um... I don't know, you know, I've, I'm a bit indifferent about it. Like, I, I realised from my channel it would make really good content if I could go there and get a video of him. But because that's not my main channel, like that's my B-side channel for talking about nonsense, I don't have to do the most important thing for that channel. <laughs> like, But if it was my main channel, maybe I should. Maybe I should treat it like that. Like, I'm not that sort of YouTuber, really, am I, though? You know, he runs around sticking cameras in people's faces, causing trouble or whatever. Um... It, what he, yeah, what he's done by posting what he did. Yeah, 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 exactly. I did think that. I thought he would be in contempt of court. for the, I, Even when I read what he read, I thought, is this not contempt of court on the same... Is this not, you know, in the same vein? Like, you're not supposed to be posting this. And like, are you not supposed to be... Like, is I need her name and whereabouts ASAP? Is that not an issue? <laughs> like, I don't think people should be posting that sort of stuff. Like, requests to stalk people. Like, that seems like you're you're creating a a group of people like you're trying to solicit a group of people into your crime <laughs> um so yeah big ups curious cat you've got that sorted i'm not gonna like he's i think he's mentioned me but i don't know if it counts because he's put um the man hasn't he and that could be martin uh dean or like i know that thank you i have the name of the man already i don't know which man he means but um you know I'm, i can't treat it that with any, I don't, I can't and don't treat it with any fucking, uh, anything but contempt myself. Forget the contempt of court. I just treat it all this with contempt. So, um, yeah, we're not worried about what Alan's going to do, are we? It's just funny to see. I think the thing that I read into it the most is that you've really got on his nerves. Like you did a really good job. So now you're on his radar of like detractors he hates and he wants to scare you. Everyone that's new on the detractor screen with Alan, he tries to scare them with the police and stuff because that's his first port of call, and if it works, they go away. And some people, idiots from the past, went away. 
<laughs> but like we're not like that, so we're not going to. And uh, yeah, he's trying to scare you and threaten you. And you, it proves that you've got to him and that he hates it. And it also proves that he's having panic attacks and stuff. I don't know if it proves it, but he's saying he might not be able to go to the court because of the stress. So I would say he is having massive stress because the court case is coming. So he's going to be in, like, if you're having anxiety issues and you've chose to fix it with alcohol and tramadol, then as the court case gets closer, you're going to have even more and more like Alan's behavior as well. He's a narcissist. So on court day, he's going to have a huge tantrum. Like there's going to be some problem. Nothing's going to be right. Maybe the taxi's late. His shoes aren't polished right. He can't find his hat. You know, whatever it is, he's going to have a huge tantrum. And they're going to have to like on the day where, because it'll be his, his daughter driving him and whatever, won't it? Like she's going to have to deal with it all him in his tantrum like just getting him in the fucking room like a kid going to the dentist or something you love it i mean i was a good kid i didn't have a problem with the dentist but like you know what i mean like a kid going to the dentist you'll have to be dragged in there and uh the night before you won't i won't be able to sleep the day leading up to it the night before he'll be having com like stress reactions um he'll be having anxiety or thinking like alan is most likely to go to hospital mark my words alan is more likely to spend the day in hospital than in court Okay, mark my words, I think he'll think he's having a heart attack two days before and he'll, he'll try and get himself off on a heart attack. And it'll be, a, it'll just be pure anxiety. Yeah, I think that's probably what happened in his breakdown before on the family holiday. I think something like that happened. Um, but yeah, there's no way this is, um, yeah, that's it. If it's report, he won't, have, the thing is as well, right? If he doesn't turn up, it is contempt of court. He can't, you can't go into a court case a week before and say, oh, I've developed anxiety, so I can't come. Like, you need a proper doctor's sign-off. You need, like, months and months of, like, you know what I mean? Like, you need, like, when I, <laughs> the joke of it with the police was, you know, he used to have a pop at me for my tablets. When we went to the police and I, I said, my dad can come in, Carney, because he wants to come with us. And they said, well, in what capacity? And I said, uh, they said, do you have any issues like anxiety? Like they're trying to help, they're really trying to help, you know, and she said like anxiety. And I said, yeah, I do actually. I've got tablets I take, I've been prescribed by the doctor. Da, da, da. And they were like, in that case, he can come in and do it. You know, they, so Alan hasn't got that. He hasn't been to the doctors and been prescribed and like, do you know what I mean? He's not even, not even been diagnosed dyslexic. He just makes shit up. And he is having anxiety issues. I would, he's probably listening to me. He's probably going to get down the doctor tomorrow and get himself a prescription. Do you know what I mean? A prescription for more bullshit. But whether the courts will take it at this late stage and care, I don't know. Don't think so. I don't think you can turn up and say, I'm worried about court, so I don't want to come. <laughs> now, if you've got a proper, proper anxiety disorder, then you can probably get off it, yeah? But not like, and when I say get off it, remote access, the court will still happen. You might not have to turn up. But like the, um, the idea that you've developed an anxiety disorder because you've done something wrong and have to go to court over it, that's not an anxiety disorder. That's you've done something wrong and you feel guilty because you're anxious because you're going to get in trouble. Like, so, like, it's not, a, that's not an anxiety disorder. So you don't get signed off. You know, I don't know. His lawyer and that would buy time. Maybe it's that. I just think it's nonsense. This is all copied and pasted. I mean, he's had to find it from somewhere. Maybe one of his spanners has done this because they're not doing a video this week, are they? So they've got nothing to do. So maybe one of his spanners has found this. You know, all it would be is a Google search about commenting on social media, court case, and then you'd find this come up because it was promoted in the media recently, and then you'd copy and paste it. Like, that's all that is. Bear in mind, how many people, like I said earlier, like, just to finish that statement, um, although this is already going to be said already, isn't it, for YouTube, so I wonder if there's anything in value of what I just said then that needs to also go on the YouTube, I don't know. But uh, he is... What was I going to say? Yeah, you don't see anyone in the news other than people that, like, printed pictures of Jamie Bolger's killers or whatever. Like, you know, you're not going to see normal people that did a tweet getting in contempt of court. Like, you'd be hearing about it left, right and centre. People would be going mad. And that's why there's no protest about it. Because that, really, that law should be looked into a bit. Maybe moderated down a bit. But, um, because of my freedoms and my rights. But, uh, yeah, you don't see people being prosecuted for that and held in contempt of court because otherwise the courts would look bad. So they don't want to do it. It's just a power they can wield when they need to wield it. And this is not a case where they need to wield it. He copied it all. I found the text within two seconds. Yeah, we just did as well, yeah. We did exactly that as well, yeah. Like, it, I, the level of the man is so p pitiful, isn't it? that he would still be up to copying and pasting things and not realise that we still can just go like that, copy and paste it ourselves into Google. 
like he's still at this level. And, like the judge will see this, won't it? Like whether the, he needs to or whatever, and like, won't the judge? Like if I was the judge on a criminal, sorry, criminal on a on a defamation case, and I told somebody to stay off social media, but allowed them, he must have. Alan must have brought this up, like in some sort of arbitration setup. I'm just, I, I just feel like there's been a, a like they've given him the rules, and he said, "What about patron? People pay me to be there, so can I post there? It's a closed shop. It's a you know, it's a a private business." And they might have said, "Okay, just patron," you know. And not anything about the case and, you know, whatever. But this is a public post. It's a public post on a social media site. Patron's a social media site. It allows you to sell and um, market and, you know, paywall it. But it's a social media site. It's posts. What do you think social media sites are? Like, this is a posting site. So he's posted about it on social media. Um He's desperate to get on the internet. Like he, after the court case, he will be back on the internet. They can't get rid of me. Even assuming he loses, I'm assuming he'll come on drunk and do some sort of weird rant after he loses. You know, after he loses, he'll go straight to the pub. And then when he gets back, he'll turn on the internet. Probably under the condition he should don't turn on the internet. Like don't if we'll drop you off at home, don't go on the internet, Dad. And like he'll just get straight on it. He can't help it. He's desperate to be on the internet. Desperate. But shouts out, Curious Cats. You got a, an accolade there, didn't you? You got you got published on Patreon by Alan. If if he's if people didn't know who you were now, this is always from the lol cows. They always do this. Um, they'll promote a like Foodie Beauty does it. She promotes a channel by moaning about them, and then everyone knows who they are. They get three thousand more subscribers. I don't think Alan's got that pull. I think the people that watch Alan already know who everyone is. But like this will be a massive advert for your channel, like the best one you can possibly get for people that watch Alan because it's on Alan's content. So yeah, like he, he shoots himself in the foot repeatedly. Harassment, unwanted behaviour that makes someone feel degraded, humiliated, or offended. True threats of violence, serious expressions of intent. To commit acts of unlawful violence, misinformation, false and inaccurate information, false rumours, insults, pranks, deliberate misinformation, including malicious context, propaganda, false statements, obscenity, swearing, sexual obscenity, revenge porn. All these things are easy to ban. You know what shouldn't be on YouTube. Oh yeah, we wanted to hear the pimp song, didn't we, for the fun of it? Um, Sentries has got it all. Sentries has got all the songs and videos of me explaining some songs <laughs> and some other rubbish as well because, you know, it was a scrap channel. But uh, we, I'd started putting up some of the songs on there. Alan Vinicom sings Mimp. This is it. I, don't know. I mean, how did anyone, after they saw this, how did anyone continue being his subscriber or supporter? Like he's off his head on cocaine, he's been up all night, the sun's come up, he's got the curtains drawn, and he's doing his 50 cent pimp, and he can't say, say it properly. Like, why would anyone give this man money? What you heard about me? This was in response to Lizzie saying that he got loads of money and he was pimping people out on Facebook. But that bitch can't get a dollar at me. No Cadillac, no perm, you can see. I ain't no mother effing P.I. 